All right, in this video, I'm going to make some comments about pedo injuries. For full details, I want to encourage you to please refer to your dental trauma guide. One important thing to note is that when we say pedo injuries, we are referring to injuries to primary or baby teeth. If the injury occurs to a permanent tooth, you need to refer to the adult section or the permanent tooth section for recommendations. Another important thing to remember when looking at the pedo section is that for the exam or workup, just like the clinical exam, uh, the pulp testing and the radiographs, you need to refer to the uh, permanent tooth section for details and recommendations for the respective injuries. The pediatric section in the dental trauma guide only covers the treatment, patient instructions, and follow-up recommendations. When dealing with primary teeth in general, as a broad statement, we either leave things alone or we remove the teeth. The goal of treating primary teeth is to minimize damage to underlying permanent teeth. For injuries like a concussion or subluxation, no treatment is required. For treatment like extrusion, lateral luxations, and intrusions, treatment often depends on the child's ability to cope with the outcome of the injury. Leaving things alone and allowing the tooth to naturally align or reposition or naturally erupt are all good options. If it appears that this will not occur or could be a problem in the short term, an extraction is always the second best option. Primary teeth that have been avulsed should never be replanted. And honestly, an avulsion in primary teeth is very simple to treat. For crown fractures, the treatment would be the same as for permanent teeth previously described. When the treatment is not ideal or becomes complicated, an extraction is always an option. For full details on pediatric teeth, please refer to the Dental Trauma Guide.